All right, then we get this, and we follow this just because it's real kind of weird, the timing. This is supposed to be the Raiders' year, finally. You know, four years under John Gruden. Let's see what you're doing. Derek Carr stepping it up. Um, they've got the running back. They've got the wide receivers. The defense is real solid as well. This was supposed to be the year for the Raiders, but we just saw the running back's coach resign, and he's been in the league for 20-plus years, coaching some of the greats that we've talked about. Real interesting that he decides to do it this year. Like we said, this is supposed to be their year. So why is everybody bailing out? And now the newest bailout is pretty big here. Raiders president, Mark Bedane, resigns. You're resigning in a year where this is supposed to be it. This is supposed to be the year. You're supposed to win the Super Bowl this year. It's all supposed to come together this year. Your 10-year plan of signing John Gruden to a 10-year contract is finally going to be paying off this year. But everybody's jumping ship. Real interesting, the timing, right before training camp. Once again, why didn't you do this in the regular se in, in the offseason, right after the season ended? That would have made a little bit more sense if you were truly planning on retiring. But maybe the running backs coach, maybe the president got a look at this team and was like, this isn't it, it's never going to be it. I'm jumping shit before this really just crashes and burns and sinks down into the bottom of the ocean. I'm getting out right before it. So once again, we want to buy this Raiders team. But everything that we're seeing is really kind of leaving bad tastes in our mouth. Why are all these people resigning and retiring? So, read into this as much as you want. We're trying not to read into this too much. I mean, I'm ready to jump ship. If everybody's jumping ship, you think me, a little fan that commentates on the sport, I'm going to stay on the ship? No. I'm reading the, the signs on the wall, the writing on the wall. I'm getting out. I'm jumping ship. I'm this close, folks. We're kind of out of 100, um, like, like 100 points that I would kind of put into rooting and betting and getting behind and cheering for this Raiders team. Going into all these resignations and retirings, I was about 60 out of 100. But now I'm down to like 40 out of 100, folks. And I'm ready to be out of zero. Darren Waller will make me leave like 10% buying into this Raiders team. That's it. Maybe Derek Carr, an extra 2 to 5%. So I'm maxed out at 15% if I truly jump ship. But if uh, so help us, gosh, if one more inside person here of the Raiders retires or resigns, we are 100% out and we'll be left with that 10 to 15% of just betting on Darren Waller and Derek Carr to get it done somehow. But I'm not liking that everybody is jumping ship. The president, folks, the president of the Raiders is jumping ship. The running's backs coach that has a great running back by committee. Josh Jacobs is the running back one. Kenyon Drake is a solid, great running back two. And he's jumping ship? Why? We got to ask why. We got to ask why. It's John Gruden. That's what we think. So, not looking good here for the Raiders, folks. Real bad signs here entering into training camp. This is not great.